And let's just see if this bobber does indeed go under. I don't know what's gonna happen here. It's gonna have to be a jumbo fish for it to eat. And I don't know on a day like today if that's, oh my gosh, it went under. Fish on. Oh, big fish. Oh my gosh, look at it go. What's up, people? I'm excited about today. Behind me, we've got the Nolichucky Gorge. We've also got Ethan. If you know Ethan, you know he's gonna be fly fishing this entire time. And I am going to be doing another challenge today. Today, I'm gonna be doing the food chain challenge. So basically, guys, what that means is I'm gonna attempt to catch a stonefly larva, turn that into a creek chub, and turn that into a smallmouth bass. Guys, I only have a few hours, and it's gonna be a fun challenge. So without further ado, let's get this challenge started and see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get a little bit of this fresh water. It rained last night. It's not blown out, just a little bit silty. All right, guys, the challenge is on. It is currently 9.30. We've got till about one o'clock before I've gotta leave, so it's, it's on right now. Let's do this thing. Well, there's a nice sharp piece of glass. Here's a nice big stone. Whoa. Tiny little sculpin, like tiny. We'll flip him back, we don't wanna use him. I feel like I might need to get out where there's a little bit more current where stuff gets washed down into the net. So guys, the technique's pretty simple. Place the net on the bottom of the rocks. It's squishy on the bottom, so it'll, it'll spit right on the bottom. We got a big stone right here. What we're gonna do is flip it over, rub the bottom side, lay it back how it was, and there you go. We got a stone fly right there, just like that. So let's go ahead and grab him and put them in our bait tank. But that's the basic That's the basic way to do it, is get a current, flip a rock real quick, swipe the underside, put the rock back the way you found it, and then get your bait back to the bait tank. So guys, for those at home, check out the, the what Ethan's using here for flies. You can kind of see how there's a very similar look to what I'm using versus what he's using, why he has success here on the Nolichucky. All right guys, so there's our first bait. Let's keep going down the river, see what else we can do. That took three minutes. Let's see if we can catch a few more. This one right here, this big stone looks pretty promising. Oh, Grampus. So guys, we got a Grampus as well. I'll go ahead and grab him. He's not the target bait. Look at him holding on to those back feet. That's crazy. Here's a Grampus, same technique. And luckily he's a small one, so I know for a fact that Creek Chubs love smaller Grampus. We'll throw him in there as another bait option. Good stuff, let's keep going, see what else we can find. Oh, here's a nice little current right here, check this out. Let's see what we can do here, if I can find a boulder that wants to move. Oh yeah, another, another Grampus, are you kidding me? Man, it is now six minutes into the challenge. I've already got three quality baits. Not bad at all. Oh yeah, here's another really nice kind of flat looking rock. Gonna flip it up. Let's see, oh yeah, yeah, another stone fly, yes. He is just an awesome aquatic looking little bug and he, it makes for a perfect bait, you guys. I'm so excited. We are now seven minutes into this challenge. We are accumulating bait very quickly today. And guys, true to my word, I'm flipping these rocks back the way I found them. Try to keep the ecosystem somewhat intact after you flip it over. There we go. Oh yeah. Got another stonefly and another baby sculpin. We'll let the sculpin go, but we're gonna keep the stonefly as bait. Got him. Oh, oh yeah, Ethan's on guys. <laughs> Let's see what you got. We'll pause the challenge and see what Ethan got on the fly rod today. Smalley? Excellent guy. So Ethan just caught a Smalley on the fly rod. How cool is that? Here's a nice stone. Got him. Another one. Stonefly. I'm telling you, these stoneflies are incredible baits. Nice big stone right here. Oh yeah, there's a big old Grampus right there, guys. Yes, look at that guy. Man, we're crushing it. We're now 10 minutes into the challenge and we have a ton of bait already. Every little bait is super precious to me because every single one represents a stepping stone in this challenge. 
And even these little stone flies play a huge role in catching creek chubs. So guys, we are 15 minutes into this challenge and I already feel good about my bait selection. Now we're gonna start fishing and see if we can get the second tier of our bait, which is a creek chub. All right, guys. So I've got a small octopus hook, one split shot. And we're just gonna cast it out here and see if we can find a creek chub. I'm just feeling for little taps. Oh, 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 we had one. We had one, guys. A solid little bite right there as I started to reel in. I'm just gonna drop him back down in that little spot where I got a bite. Whoa. A couple small mouth just attacked right there. Whoa! That was cool. Oh, fish on, fish on. All right, guys, we've got a bait. We have our first creek chub and it is a, it's a eatable one. <laughs> it's the right size. So guys, check it out. The perfect size bait right here. A tiny little four, three and a half to four inch creek chub. Let me fill this up with more water because I want to make sure he stays alive. So we're going to fill it up really nice for him. Hopefully he doesn't eat all my bait too. That would be the, the other bummer because we need more than one creek chub. Okay, I just put on another stone fly, guys. We're going to drop it right back down to this pool again, see if we can pull out another, another bait. I know there's more than one down there, so let's just let it soak for a second. See if we get another hit. Ah, shoot. I hooked onto like a stick or something, piece of trash maybe. Yeah, I hooked onto a piece of trash, guys. Ah, shoot. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that nasty mess. We'll be putting that in a trash bag here momentarily. Let's do a time check. Okay, it's 9.54. We've been at it for about 24 minutes. Yeah, I can see little fish attacking the stone fly, but they're way too small. We're just gonna keep going down the river, guys. It's not easy fishing right now. The bites aren't coming easy, but we do already have at least one bait, so I'm pretty proud of that. So guys, I am gonna cast over that pool over there that looks nice and stagnant. There we go. All I'm gonna do is hold my rod tip high to keep the line out of the moving current. And I'm gonna let it soak over there and see if anybody's home. Fish on, fish on. Another creek chub. Let's swing him over quickly. That's another perfect size creek chub. Yes. Excellent guys. We've got creek chub number two and it's a perfect size one. Also about three and a half inches long. Something that a smallmouth bass could easily eat. The food chain challenge is going well. We now have two creek chubs in the mix. Now guys, one thing I did bring with me if you guys can see, I've already found a piece of glass. One thing I did bring with me today was just a, a standard uh, grocery bag. And as I find trash along the hike in the fishing trip, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of it. Yeah, so check this out. We've got like shoe sole in there. Okay, here's another piece that we can use. It's good. Man, there's a lot of soles, a lot of missing soles out here. That was a terrible dad joke, I apologize. So we've already got a decent amount of trash just from this first spot. Now I want to keep going up river. Let's see if we can find a few more creek chubs along the way. So guys, it's now 10 o'clock. It's only been 30 minutes since I started this challenge and I already have two creek chubs in the bucket based off of some stone flies I caught. So the food chain challenge is going well. I feel like we've got an awesome chance of catching a small mouth on one of those two creek chubs. But I want a few more creek chub before we go up to a deep pool and try our luck. So let's get back out there, see what else we can catch. All right, people, we're gonna throw the Grampus out here. Just see how he does in the current. Uh, I'm gonna try this pocket right in front of me, guys. It's nice and calm looking, kind of swirling a little bit. Oh, fish on. Creek chub. Yes, and we got that one right on the lip. Perfect, perfect, perfect size. All right, guys, so I've used up all my small bait. I have three creek chubs, and that's it for the final phase of this challenge. I'm definitely nervous. We're gonna switch out hooks to a bigger circle hook, and we're gonna head up river to a deep pool and see if we can catch something big. So guys, here's the octopus hook we were using in the red here, and we're getting ready to upgrade it to a little bit bigger size. Let me show you the packaging so you guys know exactly what I'm using. So this is a Gamagatsu size one octopus hook, okay? And it comes in an eight pack. You can get those at Walmart. That's what we're getting ready to use on the creek chubs. They're right in here. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. Now the drama is not only do I only have three creek chubs to catch a big bass with, I only have one hook left out of this pack. So the drama's building. Guys, what I'm doing is I'm tying a Palomar knot. It's my favorite knot to use. And uh, it should hold really well. 
clip that right there and there you go and then guys i am going to put one more split shot on as well let's see if we've got one yeah and i'm just going to reuse the one i've been using so guys the last step is to simply grab this jumbo bobber and attach it on where we've got about two feet two and a half feet maybe of clearance from the bobber to the octopus hook last thing i'm gonna do is check my drag a little bit light perfect right there all right let's head up river let's go fish this final spot let me check my bait bait looks good here we go oh man guys i just started walking up the river and i look up ethan's rods bent over <laughs> and he's pulling in what i believe is a small mouth i saw it jump oh yeah there's a there's a river smallie yes <laughs> congrats man that is awesome oh man the excitement and the nerves are growing guys these challenges are risky business oh there's a red solo cup i'm not going to pass that up let's go ahead and just grab that throw it in the mix of all the other trash let's keep this challenge going almost there guys we're almost there i can see my spot and it looks great today oh yeah all right here we go here's my spot we're gonna set up right here in the sunlight all right guys so here we go final stage let me grab a creek chub easier said than done whoa okay <laughs> or one will just hop out for me uh, oh, oh, oh gosh he's awful floppy he may get all the way to the river if we're not careful and guys i think what i'm going to do is just hook him through his nose and that should be just enough hook so i can hook something and now we're ready to rock oh yeah oh and he's very very lively so let's see what happens guys let's pitch him out into the current and as soon as that bobber shoots under i'm shutting the bell and i'm setting the hook and let's just see if this bobber does indeed go under i don't know what's going to happen here it's going to have to be a jumbo fish for it to eat. And I don't know on a day like today if that's... Oh my gosh, it went under. Fish on. Oh, big fish. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, big fish, guys. Really, really big. Oh, it's a huge. It's huge. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a really big fish. I am so nervous, guys. We're gonna have to walk it back a little bit. I've only got six pound test, and I cannot believe that just happened. It absolutely destroyed the creek chub. Oh, it's huge. It is a really, really big smallmouth. I hope it stays on, guys. I'm so nervous right now. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish, stay on. Oh man, he's fighting so good, I can't get any I almost need to walk toward him and reel. I might be able to get a little bit off of him. There we go. Oh gosh. He is just digging, guys. Stay on, big fish. Stay on. There's the bobber, guys. We're getting close. I don't have my net with me. Oh, get out of there. Oh, he's huge. He's huge. I cannot believe I hooked something this big in this river. Usually I don't catch something this big. This is a true river monster for the Nolichucky. Yes, I got him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Huge river smallie right here. Oh, guys, I cannot believe it. I'm <laughs> I'm literally shaking right now. I got him right. Holy cow, dude. Big boy. <laughs> yes, I want a picture. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, this guy is an absolute beast. <laughs> I cannot believe I just caught this guy. I'm so pumped right now. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. All right, let's let this hog go. I am so, so happy right now. <laughs> First bait. Whoa, and there he goes. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I cannot believe that just happened. I'm literally shaking. That was the, that was seriously just like heart pounding excitement. And uh, I still have two baits left, so let's see if there's another monster in there so guys we've done a ton of drifting it may be time to try some without the bobber and see how we do all right guys let's toss it in over here see what we can do it's a nice bassy zone 
Let's see if there's any jumbo guys in there that might want a creek chub. I don't know. Oh, I might have one, guys. I'm gonna let it run for a sec. Oh, had one, guys. Shoot. Oh, one ripped it out. Oh, no. And now we're down to one creek chub. I think I risk it right here. I think we go for it. Oh, my goodness. Guys, it all comes down to this. I think I'm gonna put the bobber back on. We've got a big bass right here that just ate a creek chub. All right, guys, final creek chub of the day. I just had a bite right here. Let's see if we get another one. It'd be pretty epic to be able to finish the day off with another monster. But either way, we're gonna let it soak right here and see if we get any more takes. Oh, under. Big fish. Yeah, big fish. Another monster. Oh yeah, nice. Let's get him in, guys. Ugh. Oh, no way. My creek chub flew off and another bass just ate the creek chub. And there we go, smallmouth number two. We got him on the final creek chub, and as it was coming in, he flipped off the creek chub. Another bass came up and ate it. Can you believe it, guys? So he's a lot smaller than that first one, but he's still uh, the target species. Fought like crazy right here. And man, I could not think of a better way to finish off the challenge than one final smallmouth. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this guy back right here so you guys can, well, he's not gonna be able to get out right there. Let me go right next to it. There we go. Let's go ahead and let him go right here. Woo. Spin him around. Here you go, buddy. There he goes. And he is out of here. Yes! <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this challenge as much as I did. If you enjoyed this challenge, you may also enjoy my no bait challenge I just did recently, last week. Or if you prefer to see me catching a big striper out of the kayak, I've got a fun episode right here. Till next time, tight lines. Three, two, one.